in a cave. A female grizzly bear was about to give birth. Oh, come on, Amber. You can do this. I can make it happen. I'll be the first baby you'll ever have. Please, come on. I got this. baby. I will name you Dakota. Oh, I'm glad I had my baby. Come on. Yes. The two were happy to be together, but winter was coming, even though they needed food. Come on, Dakota. We gotta go get food. But, Mommy, I don't want to. Well, if I don't eat fish and salmon or anything meaty, your milk will dry up. And you won't be able to live. Oh, I guess we can go. That's my boy. On Dakota, you have to be fast. But mommy, <laughs> it's so cold. I know it is, but we need food for your milk. Or I mean, my food, my milk being food. Well, it keeps your milk good. So then it won't dry up and you won't die. Oh, jeez, let's go. That's a good. The journey was getting longer. There wasn't one cent of food for miles. I don't smell any food, Dakota. Oh, what do we do? I don't know. But we're probably gonna have to head back to the cave. Mommy, look! What? <gasps> it's the great it's the great passing. Each year before winter, grizzly grizzly bears, a million grizzly bears go through that pass to get to where the salmon is. If once we get through there, we'll get to the fish and your milk won't dry up. Yay! Let's go! Good boy! Come on! Mommy, mommy, it's so cold. I know. Look, there's a cave over there. Let's go to it. Oh, okay. To be continued.